as the Yankees churn through the depths of their farm system to find someone that could play first base, it's pretty clear here, the longer Greg Bird's injury goes on, the less and less they want to bring back Chris Carter for a third time. The Yankees need to find a first baseman between now and the Major League Baseball trade deadline. And there have been a lot of names out there from Yonder Alonso to Lucas Duda, big names, small names in between. Here's an underrated name the Yankees should look to pursue between now and July 31st. Tommy Joseph of the Philadelphia Phillies. Joseph, since coming up last year, beginning of May, has popped out 35 home runs, 14 this year, 21 last year. Over the last calendar year, 27 home runs. He's not a perfect player. He's not a good defensive player. He's more of a DH, used to be a catcher. But here's what's real, his power. He's a legitimate 30 home run guy in the big leagues moving forward. He's in his mid-20s, still some room to grow. Reminds me a little bit of a Mark Trumbo. Now, I think the Phillies, because they have a prospect named Reese Hoskins, who profiles to be better than Tommy Joseph, would move on. They're the worst team in baseball. Joseph, probably not their starter in a year or so anyway. I think the Yankees could look to pry Tommy Joseph away, not a free agent for a long time, pre-arbitration eligible, and long-term. If Bird comes back this year, he could platoon, lefty-righty, Joseph a righty, Bird a lefty. And long-term, he could be a DH, or the Yankees could move him in a separate package. Tommy Joseph, under-the-radar option for the Yankees at first base, coming up at this trade deadline.